Hey everybody, <laughs> this is insane. I spent the last hour trying to get my laptop that's so lagging because it's, ow, don't buy me rocks. God, she's upset too. Yes, I know you're upset, sweetie. Ow, hey, no, no. When she's upset, I have to throw a towel on her because she's biting. Roxy, you be a good girl. <laughs> anyway, this is what it's been like this afternoon. Hey, everybody. Music therapy last year. Probably wearing my EVH shirt here. I got kind of got the lighting funky in here because uh, things are haphazard in the studio for good reason. Ow, she got me right here. <laughs> oh, oh. That's, that's know your gear, man. I wanted to go on at four, so I didn't miss this. <laughs> now I'm going to be missing it. Anyway, um, I should probably check what my stream looks like, right? Um, that would be a good idea, but this is what happens when you're trying to use a 10-year-old laptop to live stream. just doesn't work, <laughs> and it's like taking me forever to get this going, not even knowing what it is that I have to do to make it to, to go. What's, what's going on here? Everything's all crooked. Anyway, um, I wanted to do a video. I was just going to do a, a video without... Um, let me, you know what, let me put this this thing on this. It's a little too bright. Might be a little better. Is that a little, little better? A little, little better lighting? A little, little better. And maybe I can take this off there. And I don't know if that improves stuff, but hopefully it does. Anyway, I hope you guys can hear me. Hey, Janice. <laughs> you are my, my, my saintess. Like a, a canonized saint of uh, YouTube uh, chats. Janice, thanks for joining me. Um, yeah, this was so hard to get this rolling. Um, and, you know, I'd really actually like to be in uh, Phil McKnight's live stream right now. So I doubt anyone's going to come here because they're all going to want to go there. But I've got something he doesn't have Roxy. <laughs> and I've got an unboxing too. And I. I haven't done a live stream because, like, just to get the microphone and the computer to come on here for this live stream, and I don't know why it wasn't just coming on. It's just that my laptop's still running Windows 7, and it's 10 years old, and it's just, you know, crazy trying to make things work. So, and I, and I haven't bought a new laptop because I've been waiting for, I have one computer, so let me show you guys this. And then we'll do the unboxing, and then that way we can get to uh, Phil McKnight's show, right? So I have this computer was the the previous little studio. Hi, Roxy, stop. Oh my gosh, she's getting so bad lately. No, no, no. I have to put this around my neck or she's going to bite my neck. That's what she does. Don't bite me, Roxy. I even brought her like a fun little snack. Come here, eat that. Instead of biting my neck. She's gotten really bad lately. She's, I think she's in that mood, if you know what I mean. So you know what, Roxy, you're going down here. You're going right there. <laughs> Working with animals, especially attacking animals. So anyway, um, so I have this little laptop that my cousin Joe built. Um, laptop, what am I saying? This computer that my cousin Joe built for me a while ago. Like, all right, she's going outside. This is not working. Roxy. Can you behave? Can you behave with that? Maybe if I hold you. I think that's what she wants. She wants me to hold her. Okay, she wants to be the center of attention. Yeah, you're, you're back, Roxy. You're back. Don't worry. <laughs> She's been outside in her little happy hut all day. Anyway, so uh, so I've had this, this computer, right? This is going to be fun doing an unboxing with Roxy and her little biting move. Um, and then I have uh, some other stuff to show you guys because I got some boxes. So let me put this over here and I can put you down on here, Roxy. Suddenly I lo oh, almost lost myself in the stream. So um, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff on uh, Amazon Day because I needed stuff and I was waiting for some deals and I figured Amazon Day might be a good day to try to get some. So let me put this back. Roxy, you stay put. Don't get all crazy. So just so you know, that computer is going to go upstairs in the little practice room that I'm trying to set up, but it's been difficult. Because as you know, I haven't really done any live streams. Uh, I haven't really even been playing the guitar or anything, really, since my dad um, you know, got 
cancer in the kidney, and he's had it now for like 10 years, really. Are you ready to help me unbox rocks? Is that why you're here? Okay, let's do it, girl. Let's do it. So um, what happened is um, I had to put a lot of stuff on hold, like pretty much my whole life. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to get work done and all that stuff. It's not like I'm not enjoying life, but I haven't really been able to do anything like free time stuff. Really. So let me grab my little unboxing knife. Sorry about the reach over. By the way, I am wearing my EVH shirt because um, I am going to do some kind of a tribute, but I want to do it properly. And just like Eddie, I don't like doing stuff half-assed. So if you're going to do it, you're going to do it properly. You're going to do it well, right? Anyway, let me take a sip of that. Anyway, so Janice, thanks for joining me. So this first item, I don't know what it is. But it might be some headphones. Here you go, Roxy. They want to see your. You try to unbox. There's Roxy. She's my my unboxing tool. Check her out. There you go, girl. That's it. <laughs> That's right, Roxy. That's right. Just don't get cut with my knife there. That's right. Get that box. Get it. <laughs> get it. So this does say lithium batteries inside, so I'm going to guess it's the uh, headphones and headset or something that I ordered because I wanted to get, uh, well, they had deals. You can't say no to kind of stuff, you know what I mean? So even though I have a pair of Bluetooth um, headphones, I wanted to get uh, another set here that was a great deal. So item number one, a mouse for my wife's computer because her laptop she just uses that little mouse pad and when we're doing all our homework and I'm helping her it's such a massive thing and I hate doing it. I've been speaking more like a Spanish person lately I <laughs> since I've been around with Amy so this is kind of like a cool uh, it's made by jelly comb and it's a uh, I think I'm holding it upside down. Jelly comb devices or whatever, right? And what it is is a uh, very cool, almost stylish, uh, almost looks like something Michael Kors would make, right? Kors, Kors, Kors. Michael Kors uh, style looking. What do you think, Roxy? Like it? Yeah? Does it get, does it get Roxy A plus guarantee? All right, we'll see. So that's for Ladaini, but she needs a mouse. Oh, by the way, I did get this. It already arrived, and what's cool about this is that it, it has a magnet on the back, so you can stick it to anything metal, like this tripod over here. And uh, it's a humidifier, or humidifier, it's a hum it's humidity and temperature gauge and all that. So what's cool about that is I've been wanting to make sure everything's kind of copacetic in the uh, studio room, and it looks like it is. All right, so next item. So I actually got two two sets of these. I'm gonna get one, give one to my mom for Christmas. So it's a if she wants to use it, if she doesn't want to use it, she can give it back to me. But she's always wearing a headset kind of thing, watching her little tab. I gave her a tab for Christmas uh, a couple Christmases ago, and this is basically a Bluetooth wireless um, headphones set that is like really good quality, but you know, not gonna not gonna be like Apple prices, but same quality. So, two of those, one for me, one for my mom, and finally, a pair of Sony noise suppressing or whatever noise canceling Bluetooth wireless headphones. So that's cool. Right. Should I open this up? Hey, Fuke Tony, what's up? Thanks for joining. I haven't done one of these in a while, huh? And I wasn't even going to do this. So I, I, I thought to myself, you know what? It didn't look like uh, Phil McKnight was going on. I don't know what was going on. So I thought, oh, he's not going to go on. I don't remember him saying he's not going on. So I, I decided, you know, well, I'll go on at 4 and see what happens. And then right after I started to set this up, turns out that he's going on at 4.30. So by the time I got everything running and working here in the studio, like microphone and, and camera, the laptop stuff, right? Um, 
then all of a sudden I see the notification from him that yes, he is actually coming on at 4.30. So I'm missing his show. So are you. But we'll catch up to you later. Right? Phil McKnight. He's the man. He's one of the demands. Anyway. So pretty cool. And if you guys don't have a set of uh, Bluetooth like wireless headphones and you tend to be like me lurking in uh, other people's chats and live streams and shows while you're working or whatever, it's good to have a set of those on because, you know, either the little kind or the big kind. Like this is more noise reduction or noise suppressing. So pretty cool. It goes flat. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, so yeah, you can turn the uh, headphones like that so you can store them easily. And uh, they actually sell. Um, okay, we have to pull that out. They actually sell uh, separate um, cases for these, which I thought was kind of interesting. It's got some little plastic thing. Yeah, there you go, Roxy. Unbox. Unboxy. 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 Roxy. So yeah, and I figured my wife can use these maybe when she's wanting to listen to some meditation music or whatever, or I can use them. I have a pair of JBLs. These seem like they're lighter than the JBLs. Roxy, why don't you go play with your toys? Check out all these cool toys. So I got like a, is that my beer? Yeah, you can, can you see my beer? There it is. <laughs> So I got a little snack for her. She's ignoring it. And these little toys that she can roll around. She doesn't want to play with that. She wants to put the boxes. That's, what's, that's what daddy's playing with. So she wants to play with what daddy's playing with, right? All right, so we'll put this away. So we're going to leave those headphones out. And I'm going to set that up. Maybe it has to be charged, right? So you got to hook it up. So does it come with like a USB adapter or something? Yeah, it does. So it does come with everything. So you get, uh, you even get a, a wire. You can wire it up too if you want to wire it up. And then you have the Bluetooth option, of course. And then you have the uh, USB adapter there to charge it up. All right. So now I do have some very cool EVH stuff to open up here, by the way. Hence my shirt. And um, I'm not going to talk about it now. I might talk about it some other time. But I was bummed out. I'm still, still kind of bummed out. But I'm kind of trying to keep my uh, love of EVH alive through other things and um, one of the things I have planned I put this in the uh, the um, whatchamacallit the Johnny Bean Discord if any of you are in there. I think Janice aren't you in there? Maybe not. I don't know I thought you might have been. Maybe Tony are you in there? Are you in the, the Discord? Let's take a sip. Anyway so I've been posting in there some things and um, in various different parts of the Discord, channels of the Discord or whatever. Come here, Roxy. Want to do the next one? This one? How about that? You can chew that for a little bit. Chew it. Get it. Open it. Oops, I'm showing you guys my address. <laughs> I'm going to have to blur that out later for the uh, troll, troll types. There you go, Roxy. Chew on that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There you go. Chew, chew, chew. So while she, she chews on that, I'll tell the story. So um, I have this old van that my uncle gave to me. I kind of inherited it. Yes, but I have notifications. In yeah. Yeah, so um, yeah. So I, I posted a picture of my uncle's old, uh, it's called a, God, what kind of, B2500 family wagon um, or family van or what a family wagon van. That he used for his business, the door company. I actually worked for him in the past, and um, so I know all about doors, like pedestrian, like walk through house doors, like front entries, side doors, and that kind of thing. And way in the past, he did uh, stuff like I think even garage doors and stuff. When my my grandfather and he had TNS Door Company in San Francisco, and then he had Peninsula Door Company in San Mateo. And so I worked with him out of high school, and, and for many, many years I worked for him. I thought I thought it was going to go a little further than uh, it might might have earlier on. I think, you know, I, I kind of, it wasn't really like going in the direction I wanted to go. I would have liked to have had more, more pay and more power and more, but it's hard to do that in this small shop. So 
it was a good relationship. It was a good working relationship, and I don't want to complain about it. But you know, but it would have been nice to have been more of a partner with him and or have grown into the business a little bit more um, as I got older. Um, but I broke off at a certain point in life, and um, at one point I actually often I was actually not even taking the business as seriously as I should have because I was more interested in music and or computers or something. I was going back to the community college studying up on that stuff and, and trying to find, you know, opportunities and other careers. Um, but the bottom line is, um, yeah, I know all about doors. And so I inherited this van, kind of inherited it. <laughs> so he gave my, my aunt Julia gave it to my mom, my uncle's older sister. Right. And, then it got to a point where she and and even I used it on occasion, but she and my brother Andrew used it, and uh, and then the transmission broke down on them. They had to have the transmission completely rebuilt, and it was going to be like seventeen hundred bucks. And and she just left it at the transmission shop, and the guy was going to just you know just gonna she was going to give it to him. And I'm like, you can't give him Uncle Joe's van. So I'm like, I'll buy it. You know, I'm like, I'll pay because all all we needed to do is pay for the work. So I go talk to the guy, and he's a cool guy. He says, "Look, man, this is my uncle's van. I, I want to get it running, and you know what? What can you do to get it running so it doesn't cost me, you know, three thousand bucks or whatever?" And then we eventually got down to like fourteen hundred. But over the, over the period of the next year or so, it costed me easily another like fifteen hundred to keep that thing running. So, and it's still running. It's still going. The transmission is now kind of slipping. I think that's a clutch thing. But in either case, uh, and that's only once in a blue moon it does it, so it's kind of this odd thing. So I'm trying to avoid, uh, you know, paying more money out on it. But what I decided to do, as I posted in the uh, in the forums there, in the EVH forum especially, I think, um, of that Discord, is I'm gonna I'm gonna stripe it up. I'm gonna it's white, so I'm gonna go old school first album, black Frankenstrat, you know, black and white, well, black stripe over the white, right? So black and white Frankenstrat is going to be um, the decor of that vehicle. <laughs> so, so that's uh, that's some big news. I thought that that would be a fun kind of. I'm going to not spend a whole lot of money and time on it because it needs a paint job and work anyway. So I'm just going to you know put some masking tape on it, get some pinstriping somewhere. And I'm just going to do a kind of decent kind of half-ass job, if you know what I mean. But I thought that would be kind of a homage to the great Eddie. And um, and I never told the story about what happened with uh, the concert that I never saw them live. It always turned out that there was always something else going on or I was somewhere else or whatever and I couldn't go for whatever reason. And and after a while, too, like in the 90s, I started to not really be that big of a fan anymore. You got to keep on unboxing it, Roxy. So I, I you know, I, I kind of got away from that kind of music, that hair metal kind of stuff too. I kind of got bored with it. So, um, so you know, I wasn't that following Eddie then as much. But I was into Satriani and I was in Dubai and all those. If those guys came, you can usually catch a show for 40, 50 bucks. But, you know, good luck catching a Van Halen show for that money. So the bottom line is I, I never saw them. But the one time that I did have a ticket that my cousin had with him and we met in the parking lot at Shoreline, this was in the like mid this must have been the first or second year with Sammy um, because my my dad's station wagon I was still driving my dad's station wagon at that time and so I was in college I think it was like 86 and 85 or 86 man and he locked uh, the, the the friend of his locked his you know car oh did you poop here Roxy oh my goodness I need to get a tissue hold on ow Stop with your biting. Hold on, I'll be right back. I gotta grab tissue. Roxy. Right. Sorry about that. Thought I had some tissue here. It's probably on this table over here with all this crap. Come on, Roxy. Come. 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 Here you go. So um so what happens is the tickets get locked in his friend's car, and, uh, and she pooped right on my knee. Here, why don't you eat some of this? There you go. She likes eating this stuff. You guys can watch her eat while I talk. So um, 
we just unboxed something, but I'm keeping it secret until after the story. So what happens is <laughs> I wanted to break into the car and get my ticket, damn it. <laughs> and my cousin Art's the kind of guy, he's a cool, cool guy, but he likes to party, and I mean party. And he didn't want to go in yet. He wanted to keep drinking and partying before we went in, right? So what happens is uh, his friends and everyone leave, and he and he just didn't want to leave yet. And I'm like, come on, let's go. No, 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 let's do it. He wanted to finish off this bottle of schnapps or something. <laughs> so I'm like, come on, dude, let, let's go. And and then and then he's like, oh shit, I don't have the tickets on me. And I'm like, oh, you're kidding. So I like I wanted to break into the car, and then he started wrestling me to the ground. He's this big big football player, dude. Crazy big dude. Anyway, so um, yeah, he he. Wouldn't let me, and then we just, you know, got wasted in the parking lot, as we called it back then. We got wasted, and um, and then drove home. And my drove home to his place from Redwood City to Danville, which is a good forty-five minute drive. At night, wrecked. I mean, I was wrecked. <laughs> I don't remember the drive at all. And I'm lucky to be alive, and and I remember when when we were there, and I was trying to find a place to go to sleep after a while, and um, yeah, I, the room was spinning. Anyway, I'm lucky to be alive, so thank you, Eddie Van Halen, for those for that story. But anyway, so so I had to get something, you know. When I heard all this news came down, it was actually my cousin Art. Who sent me a text that um, you know with a link that Eddie Van Halen died? It was I think Variety magazine or one of those magazines that had the breaking news. And then I go right to YouTube, and the first person that I see on is uh, is Steve from Boston, just freaking crying, like bawling his eyes out like a like a kid, you know. And it was it was really heartening. I mean, I I, I started crying too. <laughs> it sucked. Couldn't believe it, man. I mean, just seeing Steve like that, and I, it just broke broke me down too. And I was a huge fan of Eddie Van Halen's, but you know, I didn't follow any one band back then. I wasn't like one of these like I never have been a follower, if you know what I mean. So I've always been more of uh, I mean, I I like to take all parts. So when it comes to music, there isn't one genre that that's what I'm all about. I like everything from jazz, classical, I even listen to some good country. Folk music, you know, all kinds of cool folk music that I grew up with, Hungarian folk music, and then the bar music, like that kind of umpapa polka, Hungarian and other European style stuff that Eddie Van Halen grew up listening to. His dad, you know, that kind of jazz and all that swing style stuff that he got. He got a lot of that because his dad played in bands that played out in clubs that had people dancing, you know. And all that European kind of oompa pa kind of swing style and jazzy music, that'll get your body moving in ways that, you know, it doesn't. You know, I mean, rock and roll is all, you know, <laughs> but there's not, not that much interesting uh, rhythmic stuff going on that you can dance to. Maybe to mosh to, maybe to bang your head to, but not to, not to dance to, really. Not too much. But Eddie's band was a band like that. So Eddie... And Van Halen, that band, they had danceable music. And I think that had a lot to do with Dave, too, because Dave, you know, was that kind of guy who was into dancing. And, you know, he knew you get the girls coming to the club and coming, coming to the show and because they want to move and dance, then you got, you got an audience because the guys are going to follow the girls, right? So anyway, um, so that's the bottom line with that. So here's, here's one of the, the main items that I bought uh, through Amazon. And I could have gotten as good of a deal on Reverb or something like that, but I chose Amazon because I got an extra $10 for every $100 I loaded onto my Amazon card. So that saved me $20 more because I bought about $200 worth of stuff. So the, that, oh, that's right. The MXR EVH Phase 90 pedal. I do have my amp warmed up, <laughs> ready to play it if we feel like it's something I should do. Should we open it? All right, Roxy, you got to go down here if you're going to open it. There you go. Oops, sorry, girl. Hey, stop biting. No. No biting daddy. Here, eat that. 
There you go. I brought that to distract you, and it's working. See, that is smart. Anyway, I call myself Daddy because she's a little girl. So, and I don't blame any of you guys if you're not really in the chat or watching because it's cool. Phil McKnight's on. I was originally just going to record a video, but I thought if I could go live, I'll go live if anyone wants to jump in because I didn't think Phil was going to be going live, but he is live and I'm missing it. Damn it. Anyway, comes in a nice little plastic baggie. Plastic on it says, notice uh, this is going to make you rock your you-know-what off. No, that's not what it says. It does talk about uh, it is negative uh, polarity DC 9 volt and blah, blah, blah. Why are we reading that? No one cares. Oh, cool. Another MXR pedal to add to my collection. It does come with the little rubber feet, but not connected, so you can... Add those on if you want. And uh, very cool. So I'm going to hook that up and do a little Van Heelage. Van Heelage? Van Heel and Rippage. So, and um, DC is on the side, nothing on the top. I like them when they're on the top, but they're on the sides. I prefer that they don't put the DC right next to the plug. Because then it gets in the way. <laughs> oh, hold on. And then what else does it have? What's this big rubber deal? Oh, of course, uh, you got to have the the rubber, like, foot turning kind of knob turner. That's a sticker. Comes with a nice little quick guide. I've got my uh, thank you, blah, 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 with the uh, serial number. And we'll check all that out later. But yeah, you just stick this thing right on there like that, right? And then you can turn your knob with your feet more easily because it's got this little rubber thing. See that? Cool. Yeah. Laptop's really the blow. <laughs> it's like going, Woo! So there's that. All right, what else? So we're going to add that to the... Uh, Collection of pedals over here, right there, right under the V. So next box, a package. Roxy, are you not interested in un unboxing now? What's up? Don't even need a knife for this one. So um, yeah, this is important. So. From watching some videos, I learned. Hey, what's up, Blackjack? Guitar nut. How's it going, man? So I'm doing some unboxing of some studio gear here. So I bought this. This is actually like used as a security cam. And it's 15 uh, frames per second, not 30 or 60. Um, but I'm going to try it out because it was recommended by one of these YouTuber dudes. Um, oh, my sweetie's home, but she sees my sign. I'm recording. <laughs> so, uh, so, hi, honey. <laughs> so I got this stuff so I can hook it up to the computer. So let me show you guys the computer that I have. So, and if this doesn't work out as a streaming camera, which I'm hoping it will, then I'm going to use it as a security camera. So that was the reason why I thought I'd take a chance on it. Because this guy, you know, recommended that, you know, if you're starting out with your channel, I've got, like, you know, I don't have a 1,000 subs, and until you're a 1,000 stub, subs, stubs, subs, stubby subs, you're you're not even monetized yet or, you know, shouldn't be blowing too much money, in other words. <laughs> but he did recommend trying this. So it's, it's made by this camera company called Wise. And I think these people work for one of the dot coms over here. I can't remember which. Let's see if I can do that without getting too bright. So, Wise, um, God, I, I don't remember if it was Google or God, one of those companies. So one of the one of the dot coms here in the Bay Area, like that. A couple guys or a couple people could have been a gal too, as far as I know, left to start this company. So, so Bay Area company. So I like supporting local. Of course, it's probably manufactured in China. Hi, honey. You want to come in? 
Can you come in? You, you were on camera if you want to come in the camera. Huh? Yeah, I'm on camera though. No. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm doing a live stream. I was able to get my, oh, my thing fine. working. We'll have dinner in a little bit. <laughs> so, um, oh, the other thing I, oh, I was going to show you guys the laptop. So let me show you the laptop. Why, why do I say laptop? Computer. Roxy, chill. Chill, no biting. Stuff all the stuff away. I'm going to put it down here. So, so far, Blackjack, Guitar Nut, we've got some Sony wireless Bluetooth, noiseless or noise canceling headphones. We have a mouse for my wife. We have a thermometer and a humidity reader for the room here. We have an EVH Phase 90 pedal that I got. And we have, let's see, that's what's, and yeah, then we have the uh, security 10, 1080p camera for streaming. I'm going to try that out and see if that works. So, Roxy, you good girl. So here's the computer, and it's a monster, so i got to back up. This is going to be my production. Oh, music and sound and video production. It's basically like a big black cube of production goodness. So I'm calling it my Tower of Power music production and video production power. And it's custom made by my cousin Joe, who just moved to Hungary, and he actually had this for himself. And it's probably worth a couple grand, and he gave me a super crazy, stinking good deal on it. Just the motherboard's worth over 500. So, ugh. so yeah, he did me a good deal. Thank you, Joe. He's off. He's already in Vienna. So I'm going to be hooking that up in here. I've got a a power supply that's actually a uh, backup kind of power supply thing made by, what is it, APC. And it's going underneath my, if you know what my studio looks like, hey, stop, stop, stop. Stop with the biting, jeez. Roxy, come on. Come, 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 come. Ow, ow, ouch, daddy, ouch. Here, help me with this. Help me unpackage. Come on. You know, I've got to give her something to do, otherwise she's going to keep biting me. She doesn't like it when I don't show her attention. Roxy. Roxy. It's your favorite snack. You're, you're ignoring it? <laughs> so, Laz, is it Christmas? Yeah. No, this is, uh, this is all to get this studio up and running, because I've been trying to run it with this 10-year-old laptop, and it's a G72. HP really powerful for back in its day, <laughs> ten years ago, but it's uh, it's it's barely functioning well enough because uh, I've got Windows Seven on it still. It's barely functioning enough to um, even do a live stream, and that's why I haven't done one in a while. And it was hell getting it just up and running to get it going. So I'm missing you know know your gear right now because I was planning to do this at four. So I can catch his show, and I, I didn't think he was going to do a show, and then I saw that he's doing it at 4.30, and I'm like, okay, I can get it get it in a half an hour quick live stream. Originally, I was just going to record a video, but I thought, okay, I'll try to live stream this, because I haven't done one in a while, and Roxy here is like, Roxy's missing everybody. Right, Roxy? Yeah? Yeah? Anyway, sip a beer. She's probably going to bite me for sipping a beer. So um, this is an extra special package right here that I'm opening because this is the first thing that I ordered. I was listening to uh, Johnny Bean and Michael Smith talking, and they were talking about this issue of Guitar World magazine, and and I was listening and I saw. You know, this live stream by Steve from Boston and several others. And I, I had to get out of the house and I wanted to go see if there were any EVH, you know, things to still buy or pick up. So I 
I was going to go to the music store, but I knew that at the music store near me, they didn't have any EBH gear at the uh, guitar center nearby me. So I um, I didn't go there. And I went to Barnes and Noble because I thought, okay, I'll go and see if I can pick up this magazine if they have it in the stand still. And um, and I couldn't find this issue. And it turns out that this issue was the uh, last month's issue, and they already had the November issue. And they didn't have these, so I quickly went on eBay and I bought two of these. So this was before. Eddie passed away, of course, and I bought two because I'm going to keep one in plastic and just put it away and keep it in pristine condition. For now, I'm going to put it in this envelope, and the other one I'm going to read like a normal person would, right? <laughs> so this is the uh, the magazine that happened to be um, the Guitar World, where EVH and the 40 guitarist who changed our world. Of course, he's on the head cover of that, right? The front cover of that because it's a starring Randy Rhodes. He's my number one. I just, because of the classical and all that, I just love Rhodes and Rhodes with Ozzy. And, and I just think he's amazing. Stevie Ray Vaughan, another huge, huge fan of his as well. Um, Tom Morello, who I've seen twice. Kurt Cobain. Dimebag, I you know, of course never saw him, unfortunately. Prince, I've never seen. Um, another person who was also influenced by Santana was one of my early influences in that style of like playing music that way. You know, playing guitar, you know, with tone in mind and sustain and feel and all that. And then Angus Young and more, of course. Um, but I think it's cool that they put Rhodes next. <laughs> so they don't even have Jimmy Page in there. They don't even have you know, um, shit. You know, Jeff Beck or like who else? You know, of course, Hendrix and, and there's so many. Um, but I wanted to get this magazine because it's, you know, the magazine that came out um, right right before he died. You know? So I'm going to stick that away as well for now. I'll read it later. Should I open it? Should I show you guys a couple pages? I should, right? Vanzini, how are you doing? Yeah. Hey, great Vanzini. Nice to see you in here too, dude. Thanks for joining, man. You know, I didn't expect anyone to be in here because uh, Phil's on. So, and I didn't know Phil was going to do a show because when I didn't see him at 3 o'clock, I'm like, oh, no. So, um, let's see. Let's go to the Eddie Van Halen porch. Of course, in a, in a uh, music magazine is the only place you're going to see like cigarette ads though, right? <laughs> Don't smoke, man. <laughs> Look what happened to Eddie. And it wasn't the metal pick that he held in his mouth either. Sorry, dude, but you could have probably saved a few other people, maybe some... Okay, I don't want to get all negative on Eddie, but, you know, that's one area where he could have probably turned some people off of smoking, um, you know, if it was a little more... being a little more genuine about uh, that situation but whatever i understand yeah so let's go hey cut it out hey no biting daddy's lips so let's see if we can get to the get to that part come on where is it they make you go through all the stuff before you get to the main thing hang on see Oh, the Madman. Bowie. I love Bowie. Oh, come on. Okay, here we go. So, that's the article that Eddie's the main character of, of course, because why? He started it all, man. He was the real first, if you ask me, Shredder. Outside of maybe Blackmore. I would call Blackmore Shredder. Too. And okay, you had you know Iron Maiden and those guys, and you had and you did have you know Jimmy Page did some pretty hey Roxy stop come on come on come okay. working with animals on YouTube 
So you're not going to bite any of these pages, Roxy. No. <laughs> so anyway, I better not hold this up anymore because she's getting all jealous. Here, come here, Roxy. Hey. Look at so jealous, girl. She gets so jealous. She wants daddy's attention. Yeah, go ahead, man. Oh, yeah, Johnny's starting, right? Yeah, I should be in there. Well, yeah, that's what they say was the metal pick that he held in his mouth. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't know if that gave him cancer. It's possible, I guess. But maybe the metal pick with the cigarette smoking together combined. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to talk. I'm not going to talk crap about it because, you know, we all smoked back in those days, so I quit too. I quit when Sammy Davis Jr. died, and I'd been trying to quit for years. And when he died, I was I used that as as the reason. I'm like, you know what? I don't want to go out like that. That guy went out a shrivel of a man, spent every last red cent of his to try to save himself from that horrendous disease. Or you know, I mean, cancer is part of life, but you know, when you get it early and you get it like, you know, it's not it's not yeah. Anyway, so it was it was horrible to see that. And even though I wasn't like some big Sammy Davis Jr. fan, I I did appreciate you know what he did for Black Americans, African Americans. You know, um, he was part of the Rat Pack, man. I mean, that guy, you know, that little candy man, he was he was part of the Rat Pack, man. I mean, how much more, you know, OG <laughs> can you be, right? So he was the official OG. <laughs> But yeah, bottom line is, uh, yeah, she is playing to the camera, and she's beauty. Look at her. Look how fluffy and beautiful she is. She's just really enjoying that happy hut outside. Yeah, right, Roxy? There, you can see yourself. Do you see yourself right there? You don't even know who that is. <laughs> anyway, so one more package to unbox. And then, oh, I want to show you guys this. So I, I also bought... I know no one's doing this anymore, but I, I did it because I figure he's get his family gets some money out of this. So it's the Hal Leonard Van Halen 30 Classics. And this edition has, as it says on here, the recorded versions of the guitars, authentic transcriptions with notes and tab. Updated edition, the Hal Leonard. You know, we know that's quality and good, right? She's just puffed up, Blackjack. <laughs> you know, Blackmore disses on everybody, though, dude. He's just that kind of dude. <laughs> that guy is just something else, man. I mean, I remember when he talked some shit about Satriani, too. He's like, oh, you know, I don't listen to those. That music is so blah, blah, blah. You know, just uh, I'd rather play a mandolin. <laughs> He's just, uh, you know... <laughs> Too many drugs, man. Too many drugs <laughs> in through that brain, <laughs> probably. And I love Blackmore. I've seen him. I've seen him live back in the 80s. I'm pretty sure I saw him with Rainbow. And then I saw, um, and then I saw, I actually saw, um, man, before he even did his own thing, I saw um, Malmsteen with uh, Alcatraz, the Rainbow Singer. And I'm like, I forget his name all of a sudden, but the guy who sang rainbow that guy just got a voice yeah he's eh, i don't i don't he's just british <laughs> no i'm just i'm joking you know i love british people <laughs> i think all british people are snotty or you know what i mean there's plenty of those in hungary too where my family's from the hungarians there's plenty of these snooty snooty hungarians and there's plenty of snooty people right here in america too but the bottom line is that the guy the guy, you know, just says what he really believes, and he probably really doesn't give a hoot for Eddie or any of these guys. But, um, you know, but, you know, Eddie, Eddie could play circles around him. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know? So anyway, the first song I'm going to learn on here, and probably the first song I ever learned to play on guitar, by the way, I played on single string, right, on the low, low E and the whatever, was... You know what it is, right? It's that good old Blackmore song, right? Smoke on the water. First thing I did was da 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 da. -na. Who doesn't, right? <laughs> yeah, the British and the English. 
British, English, Americans, we're, we're all, we, everyone, every nationality is in all this stuff. It doesn't matter. I mean, we're all one people, but we just need to realize that as people gain, you know, power and notoriety, their brains, they just lose, they lose some of their heart and they lose some of their brains for a while. And I'm not saying all the time, but yeah. Fire in the sky, the sky, fire in the sky. That's, yeah. Fire in the sky. So the first song I'm going to learn out of this book is the first one on the list. And it's the, it's one of the best Van Halen songs from, from you know, best. I mean, there are so many good songs. I mean, I mean, Jesus, there's not a bad song on here. So number one, Ain't Talking About Love. I mean, dun, 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 I can sound like Cheech and Chan right now, I know. But you know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be the first one I'm going to learn. And that's what I got this for. That's where I bought, that's why I bought that pedal. The Phase 90 uh, MXR, right? This one? There, that way. It's right there behind me. Should I, did you see it yet? Let's see. Oh. That's why I bought this. I mean, I do have a phaser. But I wanted the EVH phaser, <laughs> so I'm going to do that. I'm going to learn that song, and I'm going to play that, and eventually put it up. Hey, Boomer Bass, bass? I think it's bass, not bass, obviously, because why would there be a fisherman on the show? So Boomer Bass meme, and minor is your friend in that one, as I recall. A minor. <laughs> See, I'm like reading it verbatim, like a minor is your friend. A minor is your friend. <laughs> Absolutely, right? So... Um, Anyway, thanks for joining me, you guys. I'm stoked to have seven people in the chat because I didn't even plan to do a live stream and I just kind of threw this up willy nilly. So I was going to just record this video. And then I thought, I thought, oh, okay, and here's, here's the keyboard that I got for, for the computer. So it's one of these lit like kind of gamer keyboards so hopefully it makes it easy for me to navigate the keyboard for the power of tower the tower of power production music production thing anyway so my computer once i get it hooked up here i'll hook up that uh, camera i might buy another streaming camera but honestly i'm hoping that'll work until i can afford to buy a dslr that's really what i want to do is Buy a proper DSLR, and that way I can, you know. But I might even try using the um, phones that I have and tabs that I have, because uh, I might first buy the uh, Mini Atom, the Atom or Atom or Atom, to do like um, owl rocks and stuff, to do like um, multiple angle viewing, like recording. And I've got to learn how to do OBS. Well, let's see. Yeah. Oh, she said that. Why are you me? Why are you following me? Why are you following me? Huh? Ow. She's in a very biting mood. She's get, getting more like that lately. I gotta, gotta do something about that. Not sure what. So, anyway, um, yeah, so that's a cool, cool magazine. I got two copies of that. And I believe it's, let's just double check that. I believe it is the, oh, this is the, yeah, okay, U.S. and Canada, by volume 41, number 12. Does it say what month? It's so annoying. December. So, okay, maybe that's why they didn't have it. They didn't have it yet because it just came, coming out for December. So this is December issue of Guitar World. And they printed this obviously before they knew Eddie was going to be gone. So I can imagine what January and all the other successive you know, ones are going to be. So you have an M50. Yeah, I've heard that the M50 is a good camera to get, as a matter of fact. You read it at some time as the hippie show. Yeah, I might have been talking about that. I don't know what you're referring to exactly, but yeah, I, I, Roxy's all right. She just wants attention. You know, she was in the um, happy hut outside all day. And if I'm like manipulating things, small things that are like her size or whatever, and then she gets jealous. She thinks I'm like cheating on her. You know what I mean? See, now she sees my hands going like that, and she's already getting a little 
adjective. Some of the rocks. Because these specific ferrets, they are very, um, so they, they mate with someone in the household. And she's a girl, so she mated with me, I guess, because I'm the guy. And I don't know how the pheromones or something, I don't know, even cross cross species, right? <laughs> and she, she, she mated with me in her mind, and so I'm her mate, and she goes crazy. She, she just, when I come in the, it's like pet detective when I walk through the door. She comes flying right at me, lands right on my shoulder, on my head, or whatever, you know, and then she does little kissy sounds. Can you do little kissy sounds? You guys probably can't hear that, but she does it too. She goes like that. Hey, Mitch, what's up? Dude, how's it going? So, um, yeah, I'm glad somebody came in because I was just planning just to do a video video and not go live, but I thought I would, okay, let's try to do a live stream again with this laptop. So I'll show you guys everything real quick since you came late. So I did buy two other books. I bought the Running with the Devil uh, book by Noel, what's his name, who was the tour manager for Van Halen during the Dave era, right? Um, I bought this book, which is a tabs and music which I probably don't need because you can do all this you know on YouTube but I'm old school and plus I want to learn I don't really I've never really played guitar learning tab or anything I always played by ear so I thought one good exercise for my old brain to keep me from getting Alzheimer's early like my dad is to learn something new like tablature for guitar it's an idea then I got this red dragon Klimara whatever Klimara should I open it? Why not, right? Let's open it. It's uh, got these special, you know, touch-sensitive type of keys for gaming that I think I'm going to be able to program or use somehow for recording. But I do have some other, like, recording um, platform kind of equipment. I've just needed a more powerful computer, which is the next thing I'll show you. So I got a I got a real powerhouse of a production music production and video editing computer. It's going to be powerful enough to do anything, according to my cousin Joe, who put it together for himself, but then sold it to me before he left for Hungary. So here's that keyboard. So it's a lighted keyboard. So it'll light up. Stop. See, she's biting me because I'm handling something. And then I got. I got the MXR Van Halen Phase 90 pedal, of course. I got a couple Bluetooth headphone thingies because they were really good quality and cheap. I got uh, a Wise 1080p 15 frame per second camera that's used for security cameras typically, but it can be used for streaming as well. So I'm going to see if it works that way. If it doesn't, I'm going to set it up as a security camera with the added um, like uh, 64 gigabyte uh, PNY Elite flash card that will help it be faster. And then I've got those magazines. I think you saw that. And I got the other headphones. Where'd they go? Okay. Some Sony wireless Bluetooth um, noise canceling headphones that are super light for me and my wife to use. A humidity and, and room temperature gauge that I can stick on the wall under here to keep an eye on everything. And then the computer. Oh, oh yeah, and the very last thing I should show you all oh, is the computer. It's a massive thing, weighs like 60, 70 pounds almost. At least 50. It's at least 45 or 50 pounds. So it's got all the uh, connections on the top, the on off button, and all the things on the top there. And then, of course, slots in the back and water fan cooled. Super quiet. Perfect for music production. And I might as well show you guys this. So when I hit 30 subscriptions, 30. 300 subscriptions. <laughs> Thank God I'm already past 30. Um, I'm going to give away pedals. And somebody already won one of them because I threw up a question on one of my descriptions in my
videos, I'm like, the bottom of the description, I'm like, and if you're reading this description just for fun, you know, say the words, uh, no bozos, write that into the comments, and you'll win a pedal. Because I wanted to see how many people are actually reading my descriptions or am I wasting time. Hey, Adam D, what's up? So he's going to win one of these, whichever he chooses. And then I'm going to give away the other two. So I know they're not super expensive pedals, but they're all decent sounding for sure. So one is the, uh, of course, the this one is the uh, fuzz, right? So kind of like an orange squeeze fuzz kind of sound, right? And then the ultra vibrato, which is like, I think it's trying to be a, oh, geez, I can't remember. My mind is slipping. And then the vintage overdrive, which, of course, is a tube screamer style pedal. It's actually the exact same circuit. According to Josh of JHS, who apparently knows what he's talking about. All right, so the very, very final, final thing I'll show you guys, it's not really, yeah, no bozos, right? <laughs> well, Eddie Van Halen kind of thing, right? So uh, the other thing I'll show you guys is this was once my guitar. Real nice case, right, Gretsch? And I have a Gretsch right behind me right there, right? That's the uh, an orange one, really nice one. But when I saw that, when I saw that going for sale, they were blowing them out, and I, I was able to find that one that has the camel hump style. What was the other latch? There it is. The camel hump style um, inlays rather than the dots. I nabbed it. So we're gonna open this. So because my cousin Joe is such a cool dude and he's always helped me with things, I gave him this guitar, but I gave it to him because he loved it. And I was teasing him. I'm like, dude, they have these guitars because he loved playing it at uh, jam nights. And I'm like, dude, you you should buy one because they're they're blowing them out. You know, you can get one. I'm like, I don't have any money. I don't have money. And I'm like, well, but you can do like a payment plan and pay like $30 a month for three years or whatever and get it. You know, and he's like, I don't have the money, blah, blah, blah. And I kept messing with him. He's like, you better shut up. I'm going to take yours, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, then you better take it. You know? And he's like, what? And I'm like, well, you better take it. Merry Christmas. It's yours. So I gave him this guitar for his birthday slash Christmas, one November, December, right? And it is the Bono Signature Gretsch guitar. It's, a, it's one of the Electromatics. And it's got like a antique or vintage kind of binding. Look at the case, man. It's like dark red kind of color. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. I don't have enough light on here now. I'm sorry. Hey, Roxy, get your butt out of the camera. <laughs> yeah, you can't really see it. Because it's too. Oh, almost knocked over my beer. See, it's like this dark burgundy red, so you can't really see it. But have, you know what? Let me take the the light cover off this one light. It's going to get bright in here otherwise. But it's worth showing this case because the case itself is freaking killer. So now I'm really bright. Right? It's worth putting that bright light on, right? Anyway. It's cool. So... I gave him this guitar, and he actually told me, oh, you can have the case, but I knew how he takes care of guitars. I'm like, no, nah, you keep the case with it too, bro, because <laughs> this one's just staying on the wall there, right? Uh, so, uh, get this out of the way and end this show. And by the time this is over, then Phil McKnight's going to be over too, but I might as well leave the light. Is it too bright? It's too bright, right? Let me cover that back up. Yeah, it's more accurate. So it's a very beautiful kind of dark blood red kind of color. The uh, binding, you know, the binding, of course, around the body, but then they painted the edges the same color of the binding. Uh, really nice detail, right? And it's got the uh, Filtertrons, but not the TV Jones ones. The, you know, we call them the, uh, I guess people call them the uh, toaster. Toaster style pickups because it looks like a toaster. 
But yeah. Totally out of tune. Anyway, um, but yeah, it's a really cool guitar. And this is a you know the Bono signature model. And uh, and this this they were making these, they had these uh, right before, and it's all like check it out, right? It happened right before he had that bicycle accident in uh, this New York City's uh, park, you know, Central Park, where he ended up, you know, messing himself up where he can't really play as well anymore. But anyway, it's a really cool guitar. He loves it, and he let me take care of it now while he's in Europe. So I'll probably bring it to him next time I go to Europe. I'll take it to him. But he had already so much stuff with him. So, pardon me, ear burp. Roxy, are you eating my, my knobs on my guitar? What? Come here. Come here. Ow. Ow. Why don't you stand on the guitar? No, you don't want to stand on the guitar, right? I'm <laughs> just scared of the guitar. If I can teach your guitar, that'd be awesome. Yeah, it's pretty out of tune. But anyway, I'll put it up on the wall here in a little while. So a uh, very cool guitar. And I'll probably go through it, too, because I've learned a little bit about setting up and stuff since I've given that to him, and I can make sure that it's working. Hey, Michael Lepen Lepenzi. Hope I'm saying that right. It could be Lepenzi, or it could be Lepenzi, or it could be Lepenzi, <laughs> or it could be completely different than that, right? So um, anyway, happy Friday, guys. Happy Frankenstrat Friday. I don't have a Frankenstrat guitar, but I do have some uh, Eddie Van Halen stuff. Eddie Van Halen shirt I got at NAM 2019 when I actually did get to go inside <laughs> last last NAM 2020 the last NAM that they've they're probably gonna have for a couple of years right they might have a 2022 NAM I hope but in either case um, yeah I didn't get to go the go into the 2020 winter NAM but I went down there anyway <laughs> and it was a fun trip. I spent a weekend out. I hung out with Johnny Bean and all them dudes with, uh, you know, with my my knucklehead brother, my brother with another father and mother, <laughs> Ben Coombs. Yes, uh, Amanda Coombs was my second subscriber after my sweetie pie, my wife, my love. We're not actually married, but we call each other that. But um, yeah, she was my second subscriber. So Amanda Coombs, you rock. W R W A R W what the walk you R A W K rock R A W K. I think I've had one too many of these because I have one with punch. So the studio will be up and running hopefully soon. I'm still dealing a lot of with a lot of stuff with my dad with the cancer and all. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I have this computer here now. I have the other computer now. I can set up upstairs. I have two, you know, decent um, uh, interfaces. I'm going to be running everything thing through Cubase, and uh, we'll see how it all all goes. So until next time, until I get all that running, uh, hopefully I'll have a better camera hooked up. And um, and if that little camera, if this little thing doesn't work out, this wise, this wise camera doesn't work out for me, then I'll I'll buy something else. But you know, at twenty bucks, I thought it was worth giving it a shot. And if not, I can use it as a security camera, like what they're used for. But you can actually use these to stream if you set it up right. So that's that's the idea. Yeah, thanks for catching it, Michael. Um, yeah, I wasn't planning actually to live stream. I was going to just do a video unboxing of this, but I thought, oh, heck, what what the heck? I might as well try to do a live stream. I haven't done one in a while. And I had, you know, I mean, I burned an hour trying to get it all running with this 10-year-old laptop, so that's kind of what happens. And that's what I want to avoid because, you know, an hour of time <laughs> is an hour I could have been practicing. I could have been playing the keyboards. I could have been playing the guitar. I could have been doing any number of things and that hour went into just trying to get the computer to get the microphone and the camera to to acknowledge that it exists with StreamYard. <laughs> and I'm sure this is not going to be the last time I'm going to have headaches with live streaming. Um, so I'm sure the days of more headaches are going to be coming. Um, but I hope to do you guys all proud with some really good quality videos with some demos with 
this computer working, I'll be able to run you know, OBS. I wouldn't even try that on this laptop. Now that I have this computer and the other one, I can actually start to pull all the data and all the stuff out of this one and maybe try to keep this running as like a little around the house kind of you know, Wi-Fi computer. Or maybe I'll put Chrome on it or something because right now it's got Windows 7. I've got to remove Windows 7. It's not secure anymore. So yeah, you guys, thanks for joining me. There's nine people in the chat, including me, I guess, and Roxy. So until next time, you guys, don't forget the secret to tone is in your mind. But the feel comes from your heart. Put them together with your hands. Somebody was giving me shit for it. It's all in the hands, man. The feel's in the hands. Like, yeah, but you got to use your brains and you got to use, you know, some feel comes from your heart too. So, you know, tone is not all just in your hands. So, and it's so too simplified. So, actually, actually, Steve Vai put it pretty well when he said that it's kind of a combination of your, your mental capacity and your emotions and, you know, that subjective and concrete side of us, that yin and yang of sorts. So um, you got to put that together to create some good music. So do that. I'm planning to do it. I'm going to be doing it. And until next time, rock on. Music Therapy Laz and Roxy out with a little view of Roxy here. Right? She's so cute. Long live Eddie Van Halen in our hearts and minds and in our earphones and on our radios and in our guitar playing and keyboard playing. He made keyboard playing cool. Long live EVH, you guys. Thanks for joining me for this unboxing studio update live stream with Roxy, my little love here. Yeah, so, so cute. <laughs> Catch you guys on the next one, hopefully with a completely different setup. Until then, rock on.